Van Pappas with another financial literacy video. Today we will explore tax basis of mutual funds. If you have any non-retirement mutual funds and you want to redeem some of your shares, you have to take into consideration what the tax consequences are. Tax gains or losses are based on the difference between what the share's selling price is and the cost basis. But there are three different ways to determine what your basis is. Unlike buying a single stock that will have one purchase price, every time you add to a mutual fund or every time a dividend is declared, you'll have new shares at a different purchase price. So you could have dozens of cost basis points to deal with. Most mutual funds will show the average cost method on their statements. This method allows you to divide the total cost of all shares by the number of shares held. Another way is the first-in, first-out method, which treats shares acquired first as being sold first. And the last method is the specific lot. It requires you to identify the shares of the fund that you want to sell. This last method gives the investor more flexibility as you can determine if you want to create a gain, neutralize a gain, or create a loss. You should check with your CPA or financial professional to determine the best course of action.